Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. In this video, I'm going to explain how there is no white genocide in South Africa. Uh, there's a meme going around the internet claiming that the white minority in South Africa is suffering genocide, which is nonsense. Now, um, some white people are killed in South Africa. People of all races are, get killed in South Africa. Uh, yes, murder is a crime that takes place in South Africa, as it does in every other country. And it's true that South Africa's got a relatively high murder rate. Um, about 18,000 murders last year, if I got that right. Um, so it, it's high, a high per capita murder rate as well. Another point is, what is genocide? Well, Raphael Lemkin was a lawyer who, after the Second World War, coined the phrase genocide by taking the um, uh, ancient, uh, well, the Latin words. Because under that time, there was no word to describe this um, action whereby people are targeted for killing because of their ethnicity or indeed um, faith. Uh, so it is not a phrase to be bandied about lightly and genocide has definitely happened on many occasions in history when uh, there's an attempt to physically destroy an ethnic group by killing them not necessarily all of them, even a significant number of them, or indeed separating men from women or things like that. Um, so uh, it is obviously uh, the gravest crime of all because it involves killing such a huge number of people and it's just so arbitrary not killing people what they've done but just being born with whatever phenotype. So um, it is a uh, truly barbaric crime. And so this is not an accusation that people should make uh, so easily. And who is uh, publishing this uh, ridiculous notion that the, the, the genocide is occurring in South Africa? It's um, these various uh, race baiters like Katie Hopkins and uh, Tucker Carlson, those who like to stoke white hostility towards other ethnic groups. They're de demagogues. Uh, they are willfully ignorant. And they both shut their minds to evidence and they promote uh, irrationalism. Um, so they appeal to white anxiety. Well, and I, I pointed out what is happening. Yes, there are quite a few murders in South Africa. Only about 10% of South Africans are white. Um, they tend to be wealthy or poor. There's not that much of a white middle class. About half the white bourgeoisie left in the 1990s. And the white minority tends to be much wealthier than the black majority. I believe white people, on average, have four times the income of the average black income. There are other racial groups in South Africa, such as uh, Indian South Africans or uh, Cape Malays, people like that, and the people of mixed race, of course. Um, so uh, when, when whites are murdered, it's often by other whites, sometimes by black people, and murders can be for a personal reason, just a row that gets out of hand, personally disliking somebody, or often it's financially motivated, just to steal a wallet, steal a car, something like that. Um, is it racially motivated ever? Probably, I don't know. Uh, there might be multi-factors in someone being killed. And so if what the murderer says at the time or even afterwards when he is on trial uh, might indicate that sometimes there's racial animus, animus which actuates uh, this homicide. But um, I think in most cases it's simply to steal money. Um, so there are some black South Africans who are anti-white. I don't think it's most of them. But uh, it's uh, not surprising considering that the white minority lorded over the black majority for centuries and the black majority were discriminated against, uh, were deliberately kept in poverty by apartheid policies. Apartheid, that's the Afrikaans word, as in Dutch really, a partners about keeping the races apart and obviously the whites being privileged. So um, the apartheid government in South Africa until 1994 used large scale violence against the black minority as they campaigned for equality. Um, and so, understandably, there's a lot of rancour about that, and a few black people say, they did it to us, we'd like to pay them back in the same coin, give whites a taste of their own medicine. But anyway, there's a lot of magnanimity. Nelson Mandela led the way on this. There has been a reconciliation. Um, so Julius Malema leads the Economic Freedom Fighters Party. Despite what Tucker Carlson says, Malema's party uh, is, is quite small. It's not a serious threat to the ANC government even though Malema's got a high media profile. Even Malema said we don't want to kill whites at the moment. Obviously those were chilling words at the end, at the moment. And um, some anti-apartheid activists used to chant one settler, one 
but that's what people used to say, kill the farmer. Now, this could uh, just be mirthful. I know this is humor and questionable taste because this sort of thing actually happens. Um, so th those who are really sounding the alarm bell about whites supposedly being wiped out in South Africa are often those who are not remotely concerned when whites are racist and, and are often uh, promote racist tropes themselves. As I pointed out, Tucker Carlson, some of the alt-right in the United States, Donald Trump, Katie Hopkins, uh, and other uh, detestable personalities. When black people are slain in huge numbers, these same people uh, seem to be not the least bit troubled by that. There's a large-scale violence going on in the Central African Republic. The Janjaweed militia in Darfur was uh, massacring part of the Sudanese population. The Libyan civil war, I know it's questionable as to whether Libyans are really black, It's fighting in Mali with Boko Haram fighting there, likewise in Nigeria religious and ethnic violence, or where else are non-whites killed in huge numbers? Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar. And by the way, Katie Hopkins, Tucker Carlson, and Donald Trump, they also appeal to the basest anti-Muslim prejudices. Um, fighting in South Sudan, anywhere else where non-whites are killed in, in uh, enormous numbers, these sort of demagogues are not the least bit worried about that. So, and uh, Katie Hopkins was saying, oh, blacks are killing whites now. Doesn't really matter who's doing the killing. No, no, no ethnic group is guilty. No group is guilty. No group is innocent. Guilt is individual. Innocence is individual. It's not collective. So it, it seemed to me it's like Katie Hopkins was again trying to stir up uh, white hatred towards black people, which is of course uh, despicable. And now nobody should be killed for his or her ethnicity. That ought to go without saying. And then. Um, And Katie Hopkins was causing to, calling Theresa May an appeaser just for Theresa May visiting South Africa and maintaining amicable relations with that republic. Um, appeaser? What? The government isn't committing these murders. The South African police is doing its best to, to clear up these murders. And of course, because they're fair trials, one can't guarantee these people will always be caught. There are unsolved murders in the United Kingdom and every other country. So um, it really is nauseating that um, some of these shock jocks should try to capitalize on these personal tragedies to uh, um, heighten racial tension around the world. Another thing is there are farm expropriations going on in South Africa, which is a separate issue. The government says it will confiscate uh, land from white farms without, without uh, compensation. It's something I completely disagree with. But anyway, it's not linked to um, criminals carrying out murders, which are usually just for financial gain. It's a government mental policy. They declared that they were going to do this decades ago. They're only doing it now slowly. Um, it's completely legal. It doesn't involve the least bit of violence. That is a separate thing. You might agree with it. You might disagree with it. But uh, people should please stop promoting this specious notion that the white minority in South Africa is suffering genocide. How many whites are murdered in South Africa each year? It's not a huge number. It scores. I would wish that nobody was, would be murdered at all. But in every country, murder does occur. So... There has been the most lurid rhetoric around this. Um, the figures have always been hugely uh, inflated in the wilder reaches of the alt-right uh, internet. So uh, don't believe this nonsense you're hearing from those who want to uh, promote hatred against uh, non-white people. And well, let's all have uh, racial fraternity.